Hi, Story Wilson here again with RSW Solutions. So yesterday, driving home, way home from work, suddenly the service engine soon light comes on my dashboard. And uh, any rover owner will know that's a terrifying uh, occurrence. You're uh, not quite sure if you should be able to get the car home or not. If you should pull over to the side of the road and have it towed somewhere. We all know that uh, small problems can end up in very, be very, uh, with very expensive costs. So, I was very fortunate to have just developed the Allcoms diagnostic tool, and I was able to simply pull over, pull out my laptop, and check the faults. And I will show you how easy that was to accomplish. All right, so I've got my laptop set up running the Allcoms software, and we are simply going to use the Allcoms hardware device, which I have one right here. It's a simple USB to OBD2 transceiver device. Plugs into the laptop, and this portion plugs into the vehicle. And we're going to quickly check the engine management fault codes. And hopefully, I don't have anything serious going on with the, with the vehicle, and hopefully it'll be easy to repair. All right, we're just going to plug one side of the adapter into the vehicle OBD2 port, which is located right here on the North American spec vehicle plugs in firmly and the USB port into the laptop now we're ready to go work with the software alright we're working with the Allcom software we're gonna get the vehicle on here alright and we're going to accept the license agreement and move into the engine management system open we're linked Tra transmit and receive is going on in the background we're going to read the fault codes and there we are we have an electric thermostat circuit fault and we're going to clear the faults and close that's it now my check engine light has gone off and now I know exactly what this fault code is pointing to, and I know that this is actually a fairly common problem with the L322 uh, BMW M62 engine, and I'm going to need an entire new electric thermostat uh, module, which is about $70 to $80. So here we go from start to finish. A problem came up. I was able to read and clear the faults. And I know that it's nothing terribly serious, and I'm not going to destroy my, uh, my engine by driving on it right now to, to get home. So next, I'll go ahead and show you how to replace this thermostat. Thanks for watching.